द वर्ल्डली फिलोसफर्स बाय रॉबर्ट एल हेलब्रोनर दिस इज द बुक अबाउट इकोनॉमिक फिलोसफिकल थिंकिंग कवरिंग द थियोरीज ऑफ एडम स्मिथ कार्ल मार्क्स जॉन स्टूवर्ट मिल जॉन मैरियट कींस डेविड रिकार्डो एंड थॉमस मैल्थस दिस बुक हैज गॉट द सेवेंथ एडिशन द फॉलोइंग फैक्टर्स फॉर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द इकोनॉमिक रेवोल्यूशन विच अश्योर्ड इन द मार्केट सिस्टम द रेनासांस पीरियड थर्टीन फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड वेन द वीकनिंग ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्टिव रिलीजन प्रोड्यूस अ मोर स्केप्टिकल इंक्वायरिंग एटीट्यूड नंबर टू साइंटिफिक रेवोल्यूशन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड टू सेवनटीन हंड्रेड द डिस्कवरी ऑफ साइंटिफिक प्रिंसिपल्स विच लेड द फाउंडेशन फॉर द इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन नंबर थ्री इमरजेंस ऑफ नेशन स्टेट्स फिफ्टीन टू सेवनटीन सेंचुरी अ प्रोसेस दैट गिव राइज टू रॉयल पैट्रोनेज फॉर फेवर इंडस्ट्रीज नंबर फोर द एज ऑफ एक्सप्लोरेशन एंड डिस्कवरी फिफ्टीन टू सेवनटीन सेंचुरी एंड एरब विच सॉ द राइज ऑफ वेल्थ इन गोल्ड सिल्वर एंड रॉ रिसोर्सेस द प्रोटेस्टेंट रिफॉर्मेशन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड टू सिक्सटीन फोर्टी एट एंड एरब विच एनकरेज एंटरप्राइज द इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ कैपिटल विदाउट द प्रॉफिट मोटिव देयर वुड बी नो कैपिटलिज्म और मार्केट सिस्टम एडम स्मिथ सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री टू सेवनटीन नाइनटी अ क्वाइट नर्वस स्कॉलरली स्कॉटिश बैचलर टॉट फर्स्ट एट ऑक्सफर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी एंड देन एट द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ ग्लासगो ही गेन फेम एज अ मॉरल फिलासफर एंड ड्यूरिंग हिज लाइफ टाइम हिज बुक द थ्योरी ऑफ मॉरल सेंटिमेंट्स अर्न द क्रिटिक्स अप्रेजल एट हिज बेस्ट वर्क वाइल्ड ट्रेवलिंग Adam Smith worked on his Wealth of Nation and completed the book in 1776. Adam Smith believes in two laws. The first law of the market is self-interest or the profit motive. The second law of the market is competition. Adam Smith's vision of the world demonstrated glowing optimism. David Ricardo and Thomas Malthus while accepting the principles which Smith laid down differed sharply from him in their pessimistic view to adam smith society appeared balanced and harmonious but to ricardo society was a bitterly competitive contest he viewed the worker as little more than an automaton whose only human expression was an indulgence in sex ricardo view that instead of raising the family a standard of living when wage rose the worker produced more children and thereby increase the labor supply offsetting the tendency for wages to rise as the supply met and exceeded the demand for worker thus the worker was doomed to gain no more than a subsistence level of wages as for capitalist ricardo saw them as eternally seeking profits but engage all the while in fierce competition with other capitalist this situation naturally reduced profit malthus thesis was population grows at a rate greater than the means to feed it and if unchecked the world's population will double every 25 years children of 10 years and younger labored in such industrial centers as manchester and birmingham in poorly ventilated building that lack basic sanitary and safety measure it was not unusual for children to be whipped not only for slight mistakes but to stimulate efficiency a 16 hour working day was common from 6 in the morning to 10 at night robert owen known as the founder of british socialism first used the word socialist and communist in 1848 the threat of revolution was everywhere karl marx was born in germany the second son of a liberal middle class jewish family pursued a college education wherever karl marx went did call some and intolerant activities organized worker movement and edited communist papers eventually he fled to england to spend the remainder of his life in london karl marx endured not only poverty but also disappointment the history of humanity according to karl marx is primarily the story of one class exploitation of another karl marx concludes that labor actually produces more for the capitalist 
by working extra hours karl marx predicted trends which capitalism would follow surprisingly most of them have come true number 1 as the economy spends profit fall both from the within business cycle and outside it number 2 as profit falls business seeks new survival techniques by innovating inventing number 3 business run in cycle of depression and boom number 4 huge firm dominate the business scene and suppress small firms number 5 the working class overcome factory owners and capitalism disappears in the us socialism has been avoided largely as the result of support of competition through government entry trust legislation john marriott king concluded that depression arises from a decline of investment on one side and an increased accumulation of savings on the other however depression is only temporary for an abundant supply of saving reduces interest rate leading to a higher rate of return to be gained from investment thus prosperity returns keynes provided a cure for depression government needs to prime the pump by deliberately undertaking heavy government investment to stimulate the economy unlike karl marx in the previous century john marriott keynes looked forward to better time for capitalism in the 21st century